I can't believe how fast the summer is going by. I'm Mark Kimball, and this is e-biking on the Kimballism Channel. It's been in the news lately about e-bike batteries catching on fire or exploding around the globe. So I thought it'd be a great idea to take a look into what's going on. Are e-bike batteries safe? Let's take this inside and we can have a little chat. Lithium ion batteries. They're not only in e-bikes, but they're in a lot of devices. Your smartphones, your tablets, your vacuum cleaners, you name it. Electric cars, they all use lithium ion batteries. So. One, what's causing these e-bikes to catch on fire and possibly explode? Two, how do we make it safer for us as e-bike owners so this does not happen? So that's what today's show is going to be all about. We're going to do a deep dive. And first thing I think we should do is talk about what is a lithium ion battery. Lithium batteries are made to deliver high output but be lightweight. It has a thin outer cover and thin partitions between the cells. They are both fairly fragile so they can be punctured. If the battery is damaged, a short occurs. This spark can ignite and cause a fire. Another possibility is that it can overheat to the point of thermal runaway. The heat of the contents exerts pressure on the battery, potentially producing an explosion. If you look at how many fires and explosions are happening with e-bike batteries, it's not a large number of incidents. In general, e-bike lithium ion batteries are safe with the proper care. To prevent damage to the battery, try not to drop it or use it if it shows signs of cracks. Never overcharge it or store it in places that are extremely hot or cold. And never attempt to fix or modify a damaged battery. Manufacturers are continuing to improve the technology and develop safe batteries. No manufacturer can guarantee 100% that the batteries will not fail. They can't control how an owner takes care of his or her e-bike. Fuel and many other manufacturers make charges that have microprocessor control systems with many monitoring and control functions that will shut off charging when the battery is fully charged. Leaving your battery unintended or overnight for charging is not a good idea. Over time, could cause issues. I always make sure I'm home keeping an eye on my e-bike charging. It normally only takes a few hours and the longest has been about five hours. Overcharging your e-bike battery not only affects its lifespan, but can increase fire risk as well. When the charger light goes from red to green, it is fully charged. And then I unplug the bike and the charger. Make sure when your battery is not in use is to store it in a safe place. Make sure it's not fully charged and make sure the batteries is at optimal temperature when storing between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 68 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure its performance and safety. Also, make sure you aren't storing it near flammable materials or confined spaces. Fuel recommends that I may need to recharge the battery every few months during long downtimes like winter. To prevent deep discharging, which can damage the battery's lifespan, I would check your manufacturer to see what they recommend. I've seen some recommend keeping the bike levels around 30 to 80% when storing for long periods of time. It is also important to have a smoke detector nearby. It's easy to remove your e-bike battery when you're storing it in the garage and you place it into a nice safe place and not a bad idea to have a fire extinguisher or a smoke detector nearby. To keep you really safe, I would recommend a Lippo bag. The Lippo Battery Safe Bag is a large capacity fireproof bag for e-bike battery charging, storage, and transit. The Lippo bag is fireproof, temperature resistant up to 1800 Fahrenheit, explosive proof, three layer composite material is firm and reliable. The silicon coating is waterproof and protects the battery. I'll provide a link below in case you're interested in the bag. I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's a good idea. Now, a bad idea is to buy batteries or charges from a third party vendor that may be using cheap materials and could be dangerous. You're best to stick with your manufacturer that your batteries, your charges that will fit your bike. So let's review all the safety tips on how to keep our batteries safe and not catching on fire or exploding. Do not leave charging e-bike batteries unattended or on a charge overnight. 
do not use or try to charge a damaged or malfunctioning e-bike battery. Only charge your e-bike battery with a charger provided by your manufacturer. Do not use aftermarket, low-cost, counterfeit, or refurbished or modified e-bike battery. Store your e-bike battery in a fire-resistant cabinet or container when not in use. Store damaged e-bike batteries outside and contact your local fire department to ask about safe disposal. And have a fire extinguisher and smoke detector nearby. Well, I hope this video helps you sleep a little better at night. Like any technology, you need to be smart in taking care of your stuff and avoid any major issues. In general, e-bike batteries are safe as long as you follow these safety tips. Thanks for watching and subscribing and all your support. I hope to see you on the roads and trails. Time to end with a Kimballism idiom. I heard it out of the corner of my ear.